Right here. All right, you ready? Hands up, chin up, things like that. You ready? You mm -hmm. ready to throw? All right, let's go. One, two, three. You ready? Duck. Hey. One, two, three. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Ready? Duck. One, two, three. Yeah. Go. Ready? Duck. All right, man. How you doing? How you doing? This parable surrounds a man being character tested by the wrenching blows of life. He will discover that the degree of character that one possesses is not determined by the strikes of life, but from the counter punches birthed from a will to succeed. Cole, if this were up to me, it wouldn't be the case. And I can barely afford to keep this place running myself. Rick, you know I appreciate everything that you do for me. I need this job, man. Please. I'm sorry. I'll keep my eyes peeled on anything that opens up. I'll do whatever I can. How's your brother doing? Good. Did he find a job? Yeah, a good one. brightest students I've ever seen come through this school. You know that, right? And I know how much your brother cares about you. Can I go back to class now? Go ahead. It is with great dismay we come to the reality we are not in control. All right, man, what you working on? Multiplication and decimal. Multiplication? Why are you struggling? All this blank paper? Come on, man. Let me see it, man. Come on. I know this. I bet you I can do it in 10 seconds. I'm going to try. But you need to do it, man, because you know what I'm saying? If I told you the answer, then you would never learn. So go ahead and write down what you was writing down. My man, all right, okay. Now that might be an extra zero right there. No, because there's only two. Is there? Are you sure? Mm hmm Oh. Yeah, I'm wrong then. You might be better than me at this. I wasn't very good at math back in the day. I'm probably the wrong person to be uh, helping you with this. I was good at gym.
As long as hope resides, darkness would never be as dark as it could be. you wanted you wanted. Someone backed out last second. I don't know, Mike. I'm a little sore from the other night. I got all these job interviews coming up. And it's five grand for the winner. How? Pull some strings. How's that sound, little man? Sounds good to me. Yeah, it sounds good to me, too. Hey, as long as you know, I'm splitting that with you 50-50. And as long as you know that you got to get in there for half them rounds. <laughs> OK. All right. All right. Hi, you must be Cole. Yeah, who are you? I'm Angela. Would it be okay if I came in so we can talk? About what? I just have a couple of questions I want to ask you. Guys, thank you for letting me talk with you. I just have a few questions. So Cole, you are Keegan's official caretaker. I'm his brother. And are you currently employed? Yes. For how long? I don't know, two or three weeks maybe. What about your parents? Our parents? My dad died in a car accident three years ago and my mom split right after that. You got any more questions on that notepad of yours? How about if you and I move this conversation to the porch and Keegan, you get to continue to watch some TV. Would that work for you? Mm-hmm. How's that sound? I talked with Rick yesterday. He had nothing but good things to say about you. And he made it a point to tell me how great you are with your little brother, which is obvious. But there are a lot of concerns, Cole, from a lot of different people. You can't take him away from me. Please. It's only going to be for a little bit. Just until we get some things sorted out and he's going to be with good, good people. I promise it will not be forever. Make no apologies for what I'm about to say. And I want to tell you that life will give you the opportunity to be knocked down. But I want to encourage your heart to 
There are some lessons to be learned when life knocks you down. Number one, I need to evaluate how did I get here. And number two, I need to figure out how I'm going to come back. Because I come to tell you when life knocks you down. Don't worry about not being knocked down. But just know that you're going to come back. Because giving up is not an option. Can I get a witness in here? Giving up is not an option. I will rise again. Oh, yes, I will. You know, all this time, I've been carrying this weight on my shoulders, this responsibility, thinking I could do it by myself. <laughs> he bring home his report cards. Straight A's every time. And I'm out here mopping floors for pennies for what, man? What if you don't need me, man? He's a good kid, Cole. Smart, tough, he could be anything he wanted to be. <laughs> but the only thing he wants to be is you. Tell me about this money situation. Do you really think this fight will help you get your brother back? I don't know. It's a start. You can't box your way out of life, Cole. There are going to be times in life where you have to fight for what you believe in. What if you think this fight Get back on the right track and put fighting behind you. Then who am I to sit here and tell you not to do it? Just make sure you know what's worth fighting for. Do you think that he listens when it's the same thing here? I would like to think he listens a little bit closer.
that time. No! No! 